this video, I will show you how to model an elevated concrete reservoir in ProConsumo. First, I'll add some material. I'm going to use 30 MPA concrete. Then, I'll add some sections. The round section will be used for the columns and the rectangular section will be used for the beams. I need six levels spaced at five meter intervals. I can then start adding my columns, choosing the right section and making sure that the column height is set to five meters. I can snap to the grid at the right position. I can now polar copy that first column to create seven additional. I can then add the beams. Then I will copy the columns and the beams. Now I can start with the tank. Firstly, I'll delete the beams on the top level. I don't want beams around the perimeter. I'll use the monolithic beam tool to make sure that I have beams modeled at an offset so that they can support the slab. Again, we'll use the polar copy command to create three additional. With that done, we can add the floor slab of the tank. Next, I will add the walls, which will serve as the sides of the tank. Now I can add the roof of the tank. The basic model is now complete. I now need to add some supports and loads. I'll use pin supports at the bottom of the columns. I will then add some load cases, a dead load case and a live load case. Self-weight will be calculated automatically and added to dead load. And then one load combination. I can then add my loads. I change the opacity of the surface elements to make sure that we can see on the inside of the tank. The floor will be loaded with a constant pressure. The walls will be loaded with a variable pressure. I can then create the finite element mesh. There are the shell finite elements. And with that, I can set up the analysis. First, I'll run a linear static analysis. There are the bending moments in the shells. And here are the beam forces. I'm going to perform another analysis, this time the modal analysis to establish the natural frequencies and mode shapes of the structure. And I'll just calculate 10 mode shapes for now. Here is the first natural mode shape. And there is the second mode shape. For more information, visit our website or connect with us on social media.